All right, what's good, y'all? Uh, your boy Joker back um, doing another reaction video. Uh, this one is going to be a reaction video to uh, now what you've seen is our second Jaguar Wright response to Diddy's arrest. Um, as you know, uh, we did the first one. And, oh, wait, wait, before we get started, before we get started, make sure you do uh, the proper introductions. Make sure you come in, hit that like button no matter what. Hit that subscribe if you're not subscribed already to the channel. Because, again, we're doing reaction videos all day. If you like these reactions to the videos that we do on the Street Stars, make sure you subscribe. And if you can, hit that notification bell as it will let you know each time I'm going live. If I'm doing Cash App giveaways, I'm doing the uh, the money hunt, uh, which I'm going to start doing, of course, in a couple days. Um, it gives you access to all that. So I don't want to hear that you were late or you didn't know that was going on. Hit the notification bell. It'll show you that I'm live. Again, normally a Cash App giveaway. I'm doing money hunts. Uh, and all kind of, you know, dope stuff. And again, uh, shout out to uh, the jeweler, Katie the jeweler. Uh, Katie Custom Jewelry. Y'all go follow him on Instagram. Katie's Custom Jewelry. He got a spot in Arlington. Uh, Katie Custom Jewelry has a spot in Big T in Dallas called Gym City. Uh, he did this uh, one of one, one of one. So very dope. You can see the detail on it. Uh, make sure y'all highlight Katie Custom Jewelry. I let Michael Blackson see it the other day. And Michael Blackson, he's like, man, uh, you know, where you get it from? KD Custom Jewelry. Anyway, with that being said, let's get back to regular scheduled programming. I'm here to, of course, uh, discuss the um, Jaguar Wright second interview with you guys. Um, so first of all, the first one did well. Uh, it's, I think it's almost at a million views. Uh, so I appreciate y'all for going to at least bear through that interview. I know y'all want to hear her response first and foremost. Uh, hopefully she gave you, a, you know, whatever you wanted. Uh, again, that one had some audio issues that we had to work through. Uh, we got through them and... Um, you know, you got a good 25 minutes out of her for the most part. Now, with that being said, the second one, much more precise, much more on point, much uh, to me, a much better interview in regards It's 45 minutes. And uh, yeah, we're going to do a reaction to it. Um, uh, I really want to know y'all's thoughts, you know, as far as when Jaguar Wright says her truth and we don't believe her or we're questioning if she's telling the truth or not. Um, when this thing came down on Diddy. Um, just let me know in the comments, how many of y'all actually said, wow, there might be some truth to what she's saying? Or how many of y'all are still denying that she knows anything? Or how many of y'all believed her the whole time? Let me know in the comment section. I'm just curious. Uh, but with that being said, uh, the second interview kicked off. Uh, immediately, we touched on, of course, um, Diddy having no bail uh, because we got that right. We got that wrong the first time. We thought he got bailed out for 75. And, um, when we spoke to Jaguar Wright about him actually getting bail, she was very surprised. Um, she was very surprised that he would actually get bail. She was, um, her word were, uh, she was amazed. Those were her words. I was amazed that, I'm sorry, that she, that he didn't get bail. Um, no bond. So she was like, I'm amazed that he has no bond. He has to sit there. And she was, she literally was amazed. Um, with that being said, uh, we spoke on, of course, uh, why he didn't get out. Um, like Jaguar said, he technically needs to be in jail because he's the exact person who could, you know, get a hold of a witness. If you have $75 million to offer to just post bond, that means you have $75 million at your disposal to do whatever you want, to to coerce any witness you want through other means, through bouncers, through, I mean, not bouncers, security guards, through friends and family. That $75 million could be used to say, hey, give this person $1 million, shut them up, give this person $2 million, shut them up. Uh, you could do a lot out of jail, so they're going to make it hard for Diddy to stay in jail and do what he needs to do to um, help the prosecution win this case. The defense, you know, like they said, man, there's no case here. Uh, but, you know, don't worry about all that. Let's talk about what Jaguar said. Um, for Jaguar Wright to have said that, of course, the thousand bottles of baby oil, um, she had made a couple of jokes about, hey, you know, that's enough. Half of that could probably, you know, take care of Rick Ross. Um, man, you know, those... <laughs> Man, what do you say to things like that? You just got to be like, hey, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, she did start mentioning, and uh, this is where I kind of want to bring the, this conversation to. Uh, Jaguar did mention that she felt like some other people were um, needed to be charged as well. Uh, some of those names were uh, Mary J. Blige, Jennifer Lopez, Usher, Stevie J. And mind you, Stevie J has went on... Um, a tangent to say we need to be not quick to judge Diddy. Uh, we need to slow down with that. And I'm looking at Stevie J's post now because my question to her was should those same people who were vocal about his innocence 
now more so be vocal while he actually got indicted? Should they be vocal now again to scream that he's innocent? And she said, no, charges need to be brought against him. Uh, she mentioned Stevie J because Stevie J was very vocal. And if you go to Stevie J's, um, if you go to Stevie J's Instagram now, he's he's kind of quiet. You know what I'm saying? He's posting songs and what I should wear today. He ain't talking about the other stuff. So I mean, even he knows. So um, she mentioned uh, Usher should be right there next to him, um, facing trial for what they did to Bieber. I'm like, well, I don't even know what she's talking about, but man, it, it gets crazy. It gets crazy. I mean, I don't even know what's going on. So I don't even know what's going on. Uh, I think she mentioned Jay-Z. can't remember. But, yeah, Mary J, Jen Jennifer Lopez. Um, and I think, uh, and I'm just going to go off my knowledge. I think she's mentioning Mary J because of in the early 90s. If you go back to the Biggie Smalls video, uh, Big Papa, you see Mary J at the table too. And that's the video where they said infamously that there was a transgender playing the lead role in that video. Which, if you go back, yeah, you see the Adam, you see the Adam's apple and everything in that mug. So I don't know if the transgender they say it was, and that she's no longer with us because somebody else found out that she had a uh, man parts down there. They say, but if you go back to the Biggie Smalls video, you will see the main lead who says "true, true, whatever, whatever." That person looks kind of manly. The nose definitely looks manly. But anyway, with that being said, um. Jen, uh, Mary J. Blige is in that video, and Mary J. Blige going back to the New Jack era. Um, you know, her dating, uh, I believe it was Casey out of Jodeci. I think she was dating Casey. Yeah, I think she was dating Casey. Uh, Mary J. Blige has admitted to, like, just, you know, the drugs, the, the going crazy, the very toxic relationships. And all this is under Puff Daddy's watch. You know, remember, Puff Daddy came up in 91. So then when this is doing all that, man, just remember the freaking you days in 92 93 94 uh 95 before before big tupac died man it was a lot of a lot of stuff going on back then man it's just freaky stuff um and i was a kid so i don't you know but i'm just now that i'm looking at the environment of the world i'm like yeah there was a lot of stuff going on back then um when she says uh jennifer lopez name yeah uh, ben Affleck could easily be divorcing Jennifer Lopez because of things that have come out during this case, phone calls made, videos found, and uh, for sure, for sure, it could be a situation where they're just going to say, hey, um, yeah, this is a little too freaky. Uh, this is a little too freaky. Uh, so Jennifer Lopez could definitely be uh, brought up as far as at least for questioning of what happened back even with the shine and the club shoot. Uh, Jen uh, Jaguar also mentioned, um, you know, again, Usher. You know, again, I don't know what Usher did with Bieber, but I do hear stories of the Flavor Camp and Bieber was young. And Usher, again, I don't know. I don't want to speculate, but I don't know. And uh, the other name she mentioned, uh, I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm just going off the top of my head. I don't have no notes in front of me right now. And uh, this interview has actually been out for about 24 hours. Um, and even right now, we're doing a marathon on Real Life Channel. So y'all go check that out as the marathon is going on to at least 2 p.m. tomorrow, Sunday, uh, the 21st. Um, not the 22nd. Y'all go make sure I go watch that. Anyway, so with that being said, uh, we're going into the uh, other people that be charged. We're going back and forth. Um, you know, uh, uh, I, you know, thousand one bottle of baby oil on the wall. You know, take one down, pass it around. All that stuff. It's funny stuff. Funny stuff. But it's not a funny situation. You know, what I'm saying the situation is very serious, very tragic. There are real victims in here. Uh, we touch on, we touched on Cassie, um, but we didn't stay on it. But it wasn't until Jaguar starts talking about Bashir Gray, in which uh, for Bashir Gray, who of course. Y'all know him from the youngest brother on Power. Um, you know, uh, he has been on OnlyFans doing, I guess, what you call, you know, gay porn. Um, but with that being said, um, yeah, Jaguar started to cry because of what she said. Um, she tried to protect him, and the mother didn't protect Bashir, that these things were going to happen, but the mother was wanting more. His mother was wanting more money or more fame or something. She tried to tell it to uh, Bilal. Uh, you know, nothing happened with that. And uh, therefore, Bashir, uh, this all came out. And this is exactly kind of what his career ended up to being as far as him, you know, being on Twitter doing gay porn. And I'm like, um, I feel like he was very much more talented than what has come out with all this. So uh, with that being said, um, yeah, man, uh, what can you do? What can you do? Uh, we're just going to pray for Bashir. If he wants prayer, if he needs prayer, I don't know. He may be doing what he wants to do. He may want us to pray for his success in this uh, venture. 
uh, with, you know, I haven't seen the videos. I don't know what he's doing. I don't really care to see it. But um, they say it's pretty, pretty wild. They say it's pretty wild. So uh, with that being said, um, definitely uh, prayers out for that. Uh, this interview was dope, man. Uh, I think right now it should be crossing over 700,000 views. Um, I definitely want to thank y'all for supporting the channel, supporting uh, Jaguar Wright, uh, the Jaguar Wright fans out there that support her. Um, that is her real cash app, Jags Bread 2. Y'all make sure y'all, you know, if y'all could give her anything, throw her something. She would definitely appreciate it. Um, Jaguar has been a beacon of, I guess, light, you could say, as far as in some of these matters and some of this uh, controversy that's been kind of coming out. So definitely um, we want to make sure, uh, you know, she's taken care of, man. We want to make sure Jaguar Wright has the platform to speak on and that she could, uh, of course, you know, have her voice, you know, land on somebody's ears. Uh, with that being said, uh, part, that was part one. I mean, that was part two of our, you know, Diddy's response. Uh, if y'all want to see Jaguar in person, y'all make sure y'all put some Jaguars and blue couches in the chat. Um, and we could definitely try to bring Jaguar in if that's what we're going to try to do. Um, you know, again, shout out Jaguar, right? Uh, we got much love for her, much respect for her. Um, her stories are just getting crazier. So uh, this interview was good. It was very emotional. She tried to hold us back. But she let it out. So if y'all watch the interview, if you go towards the end when she's talking about Brashear Gray, um, she really does break down. And those are real tears. So, uh, you know, again, prayers out for all the victims, all the victims in this. And uh, Diddy, yeah, man, uh, he had no bond. Uh, no, the bail was not accepted. Uh, they feel he's a flight risk and that he could coerce his witnesses. Uh, again, things found, 1,000 bottles of baby oil, which is wild. That is true. People are saying they found Cambodian breast milk, false 784 dildos, false. I think those are all just made up, but definitely a thousand bottles of baby oil. So, uh, with that being said, um, we'll get Jaguar back in. I want to get y'all take on the new interview she does, and uh, let, let us let me know if y'all want to see her uh, prior, like maybe talk about this thing every like two or three days, just what's going on. You know, I look at it more so like let's wait till something happens, then we'll speak with Jaguar. But other than that, um, I really want to bring in Orlando Brown. I want to make sure we talk to him. Uh, may bring back in Charleston White. Um, and there's a few others, a few other surprises I want to bring in, but, uh, well, I won't surprise you now. So with that being said, uh, that's all I got for right now. Just a quick reaction video to that video. Make sure you go watch that on the Real Life Street Stars channel, um, and stay tuned in here for more reactions of just any videos or anything that's going on, man. Uh, we're going to touch base. And again, hit that notification bell. I will be doing some giveaways come this week, Monday through Wednesday. Uh, so stay tuned. I'm going to be doing some giveaways, uh, whether through the city of Dallas, uh, moving around and kind of throwing some stuff out there, uh, may come to Houston, do some things, who knows, San Antonio, Austin, but it'll be in Texas. I try so love to my home state. Um, but if not for the world, uh, of course we'll do some online giveaways. We gotta, you know, we gotta show some cash apps out there, uh, throw some cash apps out there and show, just show love, just show love to the people. So with that being said, uh, appreciate you guys. Y'all make sure y'all tune in for, new videos and we're gonna rock it from there man this has been a uh, joker reacts yes sir